People all over the country were outside today, and if they couldn't go outside, they were on their computers or their phones, watching live streams, just trying to catch a glimpse of the eclipse. And as you can see here at Green Bank Observatory, we were all ready with our glasses on, waiting to watch when the moon aligned over the sun. A total eclipse of the sun swept over the United States on Monday, the first time in 23 years. Enjoy this thing that only happens so many times, you know, in a century. And, you know, we're so lucky that today we've got this eclipse that's occurring throughout the entire continental United States. And even though we're not going to be at totality here, we're going to be pretty close, about 88 percent. Green Bank Observatory had close to 2,000 people come to their science center to witness history. We were afraid that being as a partial eclipse, not totality, many people wouldn't come, but they've obviously showed up. We anticipated about eight to 1,200 people, so we ordered 1,200 glasses and they are gone. There were different activities all day long that allowed everyone to see and learn about the eclipse and our solar system. The moon is gonna block the sun, which is gonna make it a, a eclipse. Uh, on a day like this, you're gonna have a lot of people from all age groups. So we wanted to make sure that we had things for the kids to do, for the older people to enjoy. We've done quite a bit of crafts and um, we made bracelets and we did a lot of stuff. And as the stars truly aligned to make Monday's natural phenomenon a once in a lifetime solar event, hundreds of residents looked up into the sky and shared this experience together. There's a lot of energy and a lot of publicity about the eclipse, but it's bringing people to the observatory so they can learn about what the observatory does and the important research that they do. So I'm glad that they took advantage of that. But if you missed it today, will you ever get a chance to see a solar eclipse again? Believe it or not, we are so lucky that in 2024, we're going to have another solar eclipse, this time I think in April. So you won't have to wait an entire century until the next one, just seven years. In Green Bank, I'm Rebecca Fernandez reporting for Newswatch.